Hello friends. So today in this video, we will be going through a problem from Lead Code. Problem name: Replace words. So I'll tell you in simple terms what the problem statement states. It's not too difficult problem, but still, if you want to learn hash maps and hash techniques, then like why hashing is required, why set hash map or maps, an ordered list can be used in C++. Why they are important? Then you can watch this video. So the problem statement. is from lead code is a medium problem it states that i'll tell you in simple terms it states that you are given a dictionary and you are given a sentence now whenever you find out a valid prefix which matches with the dictionary value you have to replace that word with the dictionary value in simple terms as you can see the sentence is the cattle was rattled by the battery now the is not in the dictionary but if you find out some valid prefix which is in the dictionary as you can see the cat in cattle is in the dictionary so replace cattle with cat was is not in the dictionary rattle rat is in the dictionary so replace it with the word itself which is rat so find out whether there is some prefix which is in the dictionary if it exists then just replace that prefix with that word in that like in the final sequence and then you have to print out the whole sequence but now if there is a dictionary in which there are some words which like almost same then you have to replace that with the smallest word possible which means that okay if in this sentence there is four a's okay now you have to just find out the smallest prefix which matches out so a also is in the dictionary which is matching so just replace this with small a which means that if there is a smaller prefix if you are going through the prefixes and matching in a dictionary and if you find out the smallest prefix which matches out then just replace out with that prefix you don't have to find out the whole new prefix which matches out so i hope you understand the problem statement now so what you can easily do in this problem statement is you have to first iterate over the whole string and then just keep track of track of the prefixes of each word whenever the prefix matches out at the at that given point just replace down that prefix in the new sequence which is your other new sentence which you are forming out and then just go to the next word okay so it means that uh, i'll tell you in simple terms let's assume that we are looking at this sentence will keep on iterating this word and keep on making the prefix of it so as you can see t h e when you come to the end of this word which means that you have faced a space that means that i have iterated over the whole prefix but still i haven't haven't found out anything in the dictionary so we'll go to the next word so i have now i'm making a prefix which is c then a and t at the same point when i found out t then i can easily see that okay cat is in the dictionary so replace this cattle with cat in the final step like sentence and now because i am at t i am making a prefix so i'm moving from left to right and i am at t so it means that the complete word is not completed like the word on which i am iterated is not completed so you have to go to the next space the space define that this word is completed so do a while loop and go from this t to the next space you can find out and then again start doing this that just start making prefixes of the words and whenever the prefix matches out put them in the sentence if it doesn't match out you find out a space without finding out a prefix then put the whole word as it is and then go to the next one and that's the whole problem it's not too difficult but still i have discussed it so that you can understand like how you can match them out now to match them you you can make a map or like an unordered map in c++ but because you don't map store out the word and its frequency okay a key value pair but now we don't actually need a key value pair for fast searching what you can do because you just want to search that whether this word is present in a dictionary or not so you can use a set because set only consists of single words which means that they should be like uh, like this would be not identical okay and obviously dictionary doesn't consist of identical words so you just make a set of strings and then insert all the dictionary words of this words which are the sentences in this string because they are stored in this sentence this words and then this is the new answer which you have to print out and this is because in the end every word is marked by a space i always say that because in sentences like whenever this word completes out you can say that this word is completed out with the mark of a space but in the end word there is no space so you can 
like intentionally push a space at the end of the sentence so that you can uh, alwaysly like you can iterate from left to right and whenever space is encountered it means that the word is completed but for the last word there is no space so you can like push a space at the end so that you can easily iterate over the whole string then this is a temporary variable to store out the prefixes then iterate over the whole string from left to right whenever you find out a space which means that now my word is completed but if my word is completed i haven't found out a valid prefix which means that if there is no valid prefix i have to insert the word itself so the word is stored in temp so add temp in the answer which is the final answer and now add space because for every word like insert that word in the character and then a space so it's like i'm inserting the and space then yeah then go to the next word and make my temp empty so that i can iterate over the next word else i will what i'll do if it is a not a space if i have not encountered a space i have some words then i am actually making out a prefix it is making a prefix in a temp at an any point if i found out that this prefix is present in set then what i'll do i will take that prefix because that prefix is present in the set which means that that is in the dictionary so i have to insert it in the answer string so i have to insert it in the answer string and put a space like this again make the temp empty and then my i is not at the end which means that my i is in the middle of the some word so i have to make it to the next space so i will do a while loop till i haven't found out a space and i will increment my i and then when i found out increment the i i will just go to the next word and so on and in the end because we are inserting in this format which means that i am inserting a word and a space word and a space so in the end i have a word and a space but i don't want to like last space in the end which means that as you have seen i have intentionally added a space in the end to find out another word but as you are doing the same procedure again again we are inserting a word and a space word and a space so for the last word there will be a space ahead so i have to pop out the last space so that's what i'm doing pop out the last space and then we just print down out the or like returning out the answer string i hope you understand the logic and the code for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention on the comment box uh, you can pause out the video to see the code from this and i'll see you in the next one till then keep coding and bye